sober. In a town of fakes, I'm real. Except these tits, this nose, and this chin. Jesus, take the wheel, because I'm too drunk to drive. I won't bend over for anyone, because I've got scoliosis. I'm a lady in the streets and a shitter in the sheep. My family comes first, and by family, I mean housewife shows. I'm a mother and a businesswoman and also cash. Money talks. Either that or I'm hearing things. I'm from Virginia, but I'm certainly not a virgin. I may be a bitch during the sesh, but in real life, I'm a total cunt. $37. And I will say... I, like, I appreciate that price point. No, I will say I paid too much. But then I had to have it fitted twice. You went to a seamstress? I went to a seamstress twice. As many times as I went for my wedding dress. And you know what? The good news is it looks terrible. My seamstress said to me as she, as she fingered the material, she said, this material is interesting. <laughs> and, I, and then today, after we looked at me in the mirror, and, and obviously none of us were happy with what we saw, <laughs> she said to me, I want you to go out there tonight, because I said there was a show. She said, you go out there tonight, and you just think, I look beautiful in a beautiful jumpsuit. <laughs> and I'm trying. Yeah. I'm really trying yeah. to. Woo! And then, thank you, thank you. All said and done, this little number cost me, at, with alterations, <laughs> well, no, the alterations cost me $126. <laughs> cost more to alter it than to make it. Yes. You don't hear that every yes. day. Yes, and I think, you know, obviously we know that Luann is a woman with a very long crotch. That is a low crotch. A low, some of us are closer to the, like, there's so, guys, like, the material, like, well, there, it almost a, feels like we should have switched outfits. <laughs> I am in, and I. Casey, tell look, us about your ensemble. Okay. I'm wearing Sonia Morgan, New York. <laughs> Number. Yes, neither of these, neither of these breathe. rompers breathe. They don't breathe. Nothing. Now, Danielle and I had a bit of a 
miscommunication when Danielle came up with the idea that we should wear outfits from the housewives in terms of price point and what we were willing to spend out of our own pockets. (laughs) You heard from Danielle, $36. Yes, 37. 37. And then when I said, Casey Casey said, I'm going to buy something from Sonia's collection. And I said, go ahead, do this. She said, treat yourself. You deserve this. Because of some major customer service snafus, I'm only going to tell you what the jumpsuit costs. So this is not including this piece of shit blazer. The jumpsuit cost $500. Now, I won't bore you all with the details, but please know I ordered a large jumpsuit and received this blazer. (laughs) Because I believe that just... It's just pickles sitting there in the back, packing everything up and sending it off like Santa Claus, like to various girls and boys. So and when the, this blazer came, um, April, my assistant, I didn't do any of this. She contacted Sonia Morgan, New York, and was told, so sorry, they're going to send me two jumpsuits. I had ordered a large, which was available on the website, but they said they only now had a medium or extra large, but that they run small. Mm -hmm. Or no, run, they run big. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, great, you know, I thought I was a large. Well, guys, I know I'm in a postpartum moment, but this is an extra large and it's tight. I'm like, Sonia, like I wish I had a little of this. I know, but I will say the, the Countess collection runs large because I ordered, for linebackers. I ordered a, a size that was my size, and she cut off what I could only amount as enough material to make another terrible jumpsuit. So here we are. Here we are. We did this and for you. And I have you. the tags on all of these, and I'm going to attempt to return them. I am. As you should. As Getting you- warm, and, and look, I don't like how this looks. We don't like this. I'm not proud of this. Present myself to you all, but I do it for and you. This, this would fit if there, if I had three vaginas stacked together, <laughs> like a vagina triple decker sandwich. But I don't. Well, before we really kick the show off, we're so thankful you all are here, and we think yes. we should have a little toast. Yes. <laughs> now we didn't. We have our whispering angel, of and course. she. She whispers great to look. all of us. Okay. Sorry. You're doing fine. It, things are happening. <laughs> right now, she's keeping it together. Okay. The old gals still got it. Okay. <laughs> We've got our whispering. Yeah, but we wanted to do something special this evening for this live show, and we really pulled out all the stops. The one bottle in Manhattan of Tipsy Girl Sparkling Rosé. this night despite the reviews? <laughs> no. She doesn't hear anything. She just hears like squeak, squawk, squawk. Wow, guys. Sonia's loose teeth are in this bottle. <laughs> okay. Now, we all know Sonia loves a Prosecco. We have not tasted this yet. Now, how we came about this bottle very briefly was through our Facebook group. I mean, Wow. We check in from time to time, and we love it. And one of our listeners had said that they had found it at, like, Waverly Wines and Spirits in New York City, and had said, and I was like, oh, my God, where? And we'd been looking. We couldn't find it. Anywhere. So I had to call my girlfriend, Patricia Hernandez, who (laughs) has a baby. And I call her on a Saturday, and I'm like, I need to talk to you. You need to call me right away. (laughs) And she... She's like, what's up? Is everything okay with you know, your son, your, your marriage? I said, Patch. I was like, I need you to go to Waverly Wines immediately. I need you to get a tipsy girl. She goes, well, I'm with my son. Or my, she goes, son, she has a daughter. <laughs> and you were like, like where's your friend? daughter? <laughs> She's like, I'm with my daughter all day. It's 102 degrees. I go, I don't care. So she trotted herself across town, picked it up. We have a photo of her, I believe. Oh, no. Oh, no. There she is. There she is. 
Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Patron saint of Tipsy Patron Girl. Patron saint. Should we give it a Yes, to cheers. you guys. And to you all. Thank you for being Alice. here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that hits you. Ooh. Yeah. That's like the red jumpsuit version. <laughs> like, my jumpsuit is in this glass. Yeah. It rem- I I'd like to get some audience. I understand why Sonia's... Yes. Piece of shit. Pass it around. <laughs> we also just quickly, we have a mic stationed here because this is an open forum. Yes. If anyone needs to get up and say something, just go to the mic. Please. I will say, I'm going to take another sip. Me too. I will say... It disappears from your mouth immediately. <laughs> sort of I was like, gonna stay, say it won't leave. Really? I find that like, it's like it happened and then gone. Kind of like Sonia's money. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Guys, it's true. I think it tastes like that, you know, that fake champagne you have when you're a kid, the kind of Martinelli's or... You mean like, oh. Is that what it's called? You mean, oh yeah, sparkling, sparkling apple. Sparkling yeah. apple, yeah. It's, yeah. it's p- very strong and pungent. Thoughts? Thoughts? <laughs> Disappears real quick, like I said. Not good? That's a light finish. A, a light, light finish. finish. That's a really nice. That's nice. A light finish. That's like a guy who just... <laughs> light finish. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> the problem is I want some Whispering Angel, but we gave our glasses away. I so know, so now we can drink, drink this. from the bottle. Yeah, I'll have a little. Are you gonna, you're what? not gonna, you gonna drink? Am I gonna drink this? Yeah. No. Okay, I'm gonna pour <laughs> this into it. I'm not gonna partake in this trash okay. juice. Should I pass this out to someone? Yeah, would someone like it? Here, take this. I mean, I'm in a jumpsuit. Can you stand? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, thank you. Okay. Guys. Guys. Should we get right into yeah. Orange County? Shall we get right into it? Wow. Wow. This week gave me something I'm never gonna forget. And that something's name is Nina. I don't know what's happening now, but I'm, I'm self-conscious and I'm gonna... <laughs> I know, it's sad, it's sad. <laughs> Sonia, I paid for this feeling. <laughs> paid handsomely. Handsomely, and I'm sweating so much they're not gonna take it back. <laughs> I believe that that's how they're accustomed to getting it back. <laughs> Just I like it's light no... finishes all over the jackets. I believe it's no shock. There's just like sweat and semen and... Teeth and jizz Yeah, and... it's just like, another one's back, Sonia. <laughs> And then she wears it on a night with Harry Dubin. Like, she's just fine, whatever. She doesn't notice. Oh, my God. This episode of Orange County. (sighs) Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. (laughs) I'll tell you, someone said on the Facebook group, it was, to me, better than every episode of Beverly Hills this year. Just this one. Yes. I mean, it started with a bang of the kids asking David Bedore (laughs) if he had ever had a wet dream while looking for 70s costumes for what could only be a disappointing party. That was a shocking scene. That was. I like their kids. I love their family dynamic, and I know he's had an affair. (laughs) They just are so cute together again, he has cheated on her. (laughs) said he was going to leave. (laughs) And yet, I love them. And are they, they are downsizing? Their life? Yes. And I know it got quiet. I'm not saying I like this. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's just a fact. They are downsizing. They live in a million feet of nightmares. Like, that house has bad memories. Like, what, what can you do in a house like that? That was a shocking scene. And then... And yet whimsical. And we all know I know... Whimsy. I'm finding Kelly really. Ew. She cannot get a 
word out without dying laughing. Yeah. Literally, this was her joke, and she thought this was, she's like, the only good thing that came out of the 70s was me. <laughs> I don't know how to orient myself. No. I don't like her. She's... I don't like I don't her. Li- I just wrote down, Kelly is the worst. <laughs> I don't like her. She's very aware. She's... Granted, the drama is good, but I feel like it, that it's good because of Shannon. It's good because of Vicky. Not because Kelly's, like, revving it up a little bit. Although I liked Kelly in a longer hair. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> now... She's thirsty, thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's true. And her, that husband. <gasps> her husband. <laughs> he is wrapped in a riddle in cash. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make heads or tails of that purple. Neither can I. You know who he kind of looks like? Do you remember in the movie Goonies? <laughs> yeah. The man who's living in the basement. <laughs> The Mills. <laughs> Mills. I was like, is that on Nick Jr.? Yeah. I'm like turning into a grandma. Mills, The Goonies is a classic film. <laughs> I want to, okay, uh, Megan, how many shots do we have to watch? And, and I, we, I hate Jimmy with a passion. I, I do. <laughs> I'm saying I hate someone and we're applauding about hate, but... He, but you know what? He deserves our hate, and I stand by that he hate. He does. Like, it, it, there's something about him that is so distasteful and disgusting. He hates his wife. <laughs> he he hates such, her as much as I hate him. Uh, yes. He has such distaste for her, for his sperm going into her body. Like, the whole process, he seems to be asleep and annoyed at the same time. But he loves candles. He does he love loves candles. candles. Lifestyle forward. I'm sorry, what again? He's lifestyle forward. He is. He's lifestyle forward? Is that a thing they said? I don't know. Is that? But I agree, I agree. I, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but we agree. I, I feel like, although I have to say, I also hate her, so it's hard because she wants to send him videos of these shots. It's just like, I don't want to see these. Like, uh. I feel like last year, last season, he got a real view into who he was and he liked it. <laughs> Which I find shocking because if I were him, I would have lost, watched last season and been like, oh, I don't like me very much. I'm going to try and make a change. And he was like, no, I'm going to dig deeper. <laughs> I'm going to become more of that terrible human. Yeah. And, it, and he's doing it. And he is, despite the fact that he's away at his training camp or wherever. Is he training for no, what? No, no, no. He's announcing the sports. Training to announce sports? No. <laughs> Erase training from your mind. <laughs> that was a mistake. He's, he's a commentator for sporting events. In, a, in like a public way? Yes. But like on a national level? No. Exactly. Yes. Midwest, Midwest only. only. <laughs> I mean. Okay. The scene that we have seen so many times in the house, this is making me laugh so hard, was when um, Megan was talking to Heather about the big speech she has for colon cancer, for rectal cancer. And she was like, you know, and Heather's like, are, are you ready? Are you prepared? And she's like, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> That setup kills me because we know it's coming. She's like, I might bullet point it, but like... And the only time it has ever worked was, did you guys see um, Croy and Kim? What's their show called? Uh, Don't be tardy. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> me. I got to slow down. Excuse me. Don't, of course. Of I've course. seen every episode. And we I all love say their her chef. name. But on Don't Be Tardy, Kim was like, I'm just going to wing a speech to single moms. And I was like bawling. It was amazing. <laughs> Because, you know what I will say about Kim Zolciak Bierman? Which we have a photo of. Maybe we yeah. can pull a we recent photo, photo of Kim. Yes. I will say, she is charming as fuck. <laughs> and she and Croy have a love that we will never have. None of you are. You look there. at your spouse tonight, you're like, we don't have a Kim and Croy have. No. And we're not going to. No. 
And so she can pull something like that off. I don't know anybody else that can. Okay, remember the scene when Terry came home and he was wearing like a burlap bomber jacket with a backpack? Yes. From after work over his scrubs and told Heather he wasn't going to be around for Mother's Day? I've never been more attracted to him. (laughs) No, Casey. I hate him, we all know that, but... I felt like it was the first time he wasn't kissing Heather's ass. No, see, I disagree. I, Go ahead. Here's what I think. I was not attracted to him, but I never am. But Of course. Yeah. But I will also say when he was like, but I'm doing such important work. Well, that was a shock. <laughs> and I'm like, you work on botch, dude. She's like, you know, you need to spend more, if anyone hasn't seen it, she's, you know, Heather's saying, you need to spend more time with your family and make us a priority. He stares off, Meryl Streep asking goes, but I'm doing such important work. (laughs) And it's not, no, and it's not like he's like going down to, you know, like poor countries and like helping kids. Like he is literally like, I got a terrible boob job and I need it fixed. (laughs) And then he's like, this is the stuff. This is important work, why I'm missing my kids. Like, my kids don't know me, because I gotta get these tits right and tight. (laughs) I mean, should we play the clip? Should we just get into the 70s party? If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you've all seen it. And it's a long clip, but I felt like we needed it. Yeah. By the way, we are not technically savvy, as you can see. Non-mills, non-mills. Am I in front of it? David? You understand me? David? You just shut your fucking mouth. Michael and Kelly are calling me Duff. And as soon as you admit to lying, I didn't then, lie. then you're scot-free. I Let me lie. tell you. Oh my, okay, David, okay, do you understand that people, because those people are, that guy is, that, no, this husband is, they're, no, they're coming horrible to me. All right, all right they are. Let, let's calm down. I think you're coming. Same as she on you. You don't even know. You are the no, lowest of I am not. You are the lowest I am not. Of she are my they gonna fuck? The man I love had cancer. You're as far as I'm oh, concerned. So does he or does he? Ask him. You're a f***ing scumbag because you don't come clean. You don't yell at a woman. I'm not his wife. Well, she on you. you. You're filthy. Okay, I'm you're filthy. You're a cheater and a bad guy. He's the one that's a scumbag and a pig and a liar. And a cheat. Why are you attacking That's her? That's the way you talk, talk to, to Shannon. To the way you talk why to me. Why am I talking to you? you talk to Shannon. Why? She was wondering why she was talking to her about her David, David. 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 And over here, you're talking David. about her. Have another drink. Have another drink. As a matter of fact, I will. All right, let's go. Let's go. My boyfriend. You know what? I wonder why you're, you cheated on your wife. <laughs> to the home we built, there was a rumor circulating that a woman was having an affair with my neighbor. I'll never forget the story. Hearing about a girl making out with her affair in front of their neighbor. Turns out that that woman was Kelly Dodd. She was. Woo! Woo! That back and forth. Yeah. Now. Who indeed? Who in? And this was all started because they were looking for a purse. And Nina said, Nina, the Russian Cold War spy, said, what it look like. And then, I've never seen something so innocent. And the best was when it started, they really were looking for a purse. Like in the background, you know, People, Kelly and Vicky are like, is it, is it under that cushion? And then like this. It was real, for yeah. real. There was concern about where a handbag was. And then it, it blew up in a way I still don't understand. They were introducing characters that should be main characters yes. with the speed of light. I'm like, get them on the 
front. I need to know everything about Nina right this minute. And, and Jay? Ja, ja, Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, wow. Jackie, Jackie, whose face, if you turn to the side, disappears. <laughs> so surgically altered. <laughs> and in- Jackie got slammed. <laughs> was it, um, Kel- Kelly was like, Jackie, you just look like, and I love it. That's her, also her comeback to um, Shannon, Shannon which is that you both, they both look like every ordinary blonde in Orange County. It's like, Kelly, you're a brunette, but. But you still, <laughs> you all look the same. You all been to Debro. You've all been to It's important work <laughs> that he's doing. So, oh, yeah. also, these parties always make me sad because they always seem so empty. Like, has I wrote our extras through. in the back. I, so I would see people dancing alone, like looking at, like to stamp their time cards. Like, are we? <laughs> it's so sad. Like, I can, you can feel the emptiness of it and the music, and then. Poor her Mrs. Roper insult, which was a compliment. That outfit. I Shannon. liked it. <laughs> well, of course, Danielle. I've been told the ribbon across the head was familiar. Danielle, do you mean this ribbon? <laughs> that will be giving Bear. away shortly. The very same. I mean, the best was when, uh, God, why am I forgetting what Shannon yells? She's like, he tells me my outfit is in seven days? Is that respectful? <laughs> I love, I love Shannon. She's like, David, 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 they're telling me my outfit is in seven days. David, help me. It looked, she looked like, da- like a grandmother and David was like a grandson. That was like, uh-oh, grandma's like, I gotta help grandma. I will say that in that blonde wig, I found David yes. attractive. <laughs> you know I've always loved David Bajor. Gorgeous. You have. Look, what he lacks in charm and light behind the eyes. <laughs> he... He makes up in a sense of humor and levity. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's like a dead zombie walking through yes. life. Yes, can I, can I say something controversial? Please. And I thought of this today while meditating. <laughs> so, all your most important thoughts come up while my new meditation. And while meditating, trying to like get at peace with the earth, I thought to myself, you know, David is so against Vicky to turn the attention away from himself and what he has done. Smattering of applause. <laughs> I feel, I think, I think right. people think are thinking honestly. about it, we're thinking. Because yeah. he's so anti-Vicky, he's making jokes about her all the time. Like, what is, what's, the, what's his horse in the race here? He doesn't give a shit. And by the way, Vicky looked amazing. Yeah. I'm like, I need to do what Vicky's up to. And I, you guys aren't applauding, that's okay. <laughs> I thought she looked great. Am I? Yeah. No, she looks, she's never yeah. looked better. I need she's, to, and I read she's on a crazy diet. It's literally like 550 calories a day. But she drinks so much. How is that possible? Well, she doesn't whoop it up that much. She actually doesn't. When she does whoop it up, she whoops it up. <laughs> but other than that, I feel like she's very, you know, Kodo, Kodo. Kodo <laughs> insurance. Kodo insurance. Brianna, Kodo Insurance, Brianna. It's not that much Brianna, it's like Kodo. Kodo, 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 Kodo. Kodo. Um, okay, we, we, we gotta keep moving forward, we yes. have a big show. Oh, real quick, just, I'm calling Brooks. Oh my God. It was so sad that limo ride home with people she doesn't even know. Yeah. And they don't know her, they were like talking two conversations at the same time, she's like, I gotta call Brooks! And they were like- Brooks, people are saying you don't have cancer, and I love you, I- so, someone on the Facebook group really killed me. They said the way that Brooks's voicemail picked up was so aggressive. <laughs> it came in so quick. It was like, you know, this phone is whatever. Was it disconnected? Yeah, or like the, the person is not here. Yeah, it was so, it, like you could feel through the phone. Brooks was like, nope. Like he saw it. He was in bed with some like Louisiana whore. <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> I'm using a horse. I'm some Creole. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we missed a lot. I also I'm thought sh- Heather looked very cute. Yes, yeah, she does. Very cute. We don't you know, admit that. We're plotting he- for people we don't know's outfits. <laughs> It's important. She looked great, though I did love when she fell down and I could have watched it three times. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we gotta move on to New Jersey. But before we do, we have a very special guest to announce. Now, this gentleman, and I'll call him a gentleman, is a, a is. friend of Manzo and a friend of ours. We love him. He flew here all the way from San Francisco <laughs> to be on the show. Please welcome to our stage, Greg Bennett. Greg. <laughs> Greg, don't try to say you look amazing. Uh, don't you dare. Greg Don't saw me backstage like struggling with Spanx and <laughs> this start. jumpsuit. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hi, Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being Guys, here. Guys, thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. Are there, is it full of whispering aliens? Is that what we're calling the... I the think, I think whispering aliens is a great yes, name. I love Absolutely. That. I'm so excited. Thank you I'm so, so much. I'm so excited to have you here. You know I don't like Jersey. I know. Um, you are not, you are not a fanzo. I... We get it, right? <laughs> Got it. I am a number one fan, yeah. though. But I'm Thank such you. a huge fan of yours. Oh, I appreciate you. You are the only normal person on reality television. <laughs> I think you are. I think I'm the ultimate boots on the ground. Yes. Because yeah. You've infiltrated. I'm totally a listener of this podcast. I support it. I love it. And I don't, I, I think that I've like infiltrated to the point where I've been on a reality show. So you're playing both sides of the line. Yes. I I got, and I respect yeah. the hell out of it. <laughs> this is like in The Departed. You know. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. That's actually yes. the best way to, to put it. Thank you. Thank you. We now, have so many questions. So many. I know that you recently did a pilgrimage to Andalays. Andalays. <laughs> I sure did. I would love I the way sure people did. take a bus to the holy city for <laughs> get a group of people and we go to Andalays. <laughs> All right. So I went to PV, where uh, Vicky is the the queen of PV, and I went for New Year's um, six months ago, I guess, at this point. Uh And on the email chain before we left, it was a bunch of gays, and I was like, we've got to go to Andalays. (laughs) Like, we've got to whoop it up. We've got to go to Andalays. So, like, first first night, I'm like, all right, guys, we're whooping it up. They're like, all right, we got it. Like, no one cares. So we we go, and... um, it was filled with women who looked like Vicky if she had never left Chicago. <laughs> That's like the best, like very spiky, very spiky, chunky blonde highlights. A lot of like... Which um, could be me in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. Um, I mean, I admired it. There was a, a young girl riding a donkey through the bar. <laughs> it was wild. It was just as wild as it looked on that night that Were they the went. drinks great? And the, was the, dare the drink, I ask of the food? The drinks, wait, I'll get to the food. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's more. There's right. so much more, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so the drinks were awesome. Like, we got wrecked and we went out to the gay bars after that and it was a lot of fun. We were like, that was a good time. So like, the next day we went to the beach and we got drunk all day long and like, we're walking off the beach and I was like, guys, Andale serves food. <laughs> Right? So, and it's like right across the street from the beach. So we a went. A second time. A second time. Sat down in the dining room upstairs that we didn't know existed. Dining room? Fine dining at Anzalee's. Like, I, I, I got to tell you, the food was so good that we went what? for dinner every night we were there. What? We went for dinner every night. We would walk off the beach way, so they had this special called the Shrimp Sophia, which I still don't know what it was, but it was so good. And I literally would walk in, like, very drunk off the beach and be like, don't do stop Vicky Gumbleson, everybody. And they're like, go sit at your table, sir. <laughs> and it, like, finally the last night, my friend left his phone at Andalay's, and we went back to the house to shower, and he was like, oh, my God, I don't have my phone. I was like, let me call Andalay's. <laughs> so I literally picked up the phone and we had like a directory in the house. It was, and I suddenly spoke Spanish. 
and I was like, hola, senor, uh, we come in each uh, noche, and he was like, oh, yes, you left for phone. So they knew exactly who I was. And, and did they know who you were? No. Okay. They don't even know who Vicky is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, That's the like saddest thing I've ever the heard. The girl who thinks she's engaged to a guy that doesn't know she exists. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. I mean, they, they're like, Vicky? I'm like, Vicky, Vicky, cameras. They and they're like, oh, she'd come in six months or something. Like, I guess they knew that yeah. she comes down there to film. Now, so. shifting gears, can you talk to us about your involvement with and the status of black water? <laughs> <laughs> um, so my involvement with black water was th- <laughs> my, <laughs> I don't know. Is my that, roommates, is it was my roommates, it was my roommates thing. I had a job the whole time. Uh-huh. Like, and like, I, that's why I'm not like a full-time reality star. Like, I need a 401k and like PTO <laughs> you're not, you're normal. and a paycheck like every two Good weeks. For I you. can't, like, I can't do that. No. So, um, they had this whole thing going, and when we would film, they would like bring me along to help, and I would wear the t-shirt and yeah. like kind of sit around. And I will say that at the food show we went to for Blackwater, I remember. I remember. I, <laughs> um, I was there. I mean, it was, it was not. It was not a real housewife who filmed with Patty LaBelle. It was me who filmed with Patty LaBelle. So thank you, Patty LaBelle, for letting me wow. film a scene for television. That's amazing. Yes. So, wow. um, How, what's the status? I mean, I saw it in the Molly Stones, or like the, the Wegmans and the Whole Foods, whatever. It's like, out it's there. there. Yeah. It's there. You guys can drink Someone it. Someone sent me a picture um, of it in France. Oh. Yeah. Bonjour. Um, I was I hoping you were getting a cut. Oh, I'm not going to Nothing? They paid me in, like, gift cards. Like. Now, are you still close with the Manzos? Very close. Aww, Very that's close. That's so nice. Yeah, I mean, they're... Those you know, sons, like, that, that they're, sons what, really what, cute. You like, oh, you like them? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. You know, there's Albie. <laughs> oh, I love them all. <laughs> um, no, I'm still super... Cl- <laughs> I do. They're such... They're a very sweet family. Yeah. They, um, and Lauren great. is gorgeous. Lauren looks Lauren amazing. looks great. Yeah. She's married now. And she's now. married, right? Yes, her wedding was last summer. She oh, I remember. She so good. Yeah. We all did. We all we had spray tans. We all looked really good. It, it was great. Um, but they actually came out and filmed a little bit of Manzo with Children at my house. What? You're going to see my little tiny house that I live in. And like, um, That's so cool. Yeah, so their new season premieres on the 11th of September at 9 p.m. Plug. Oh. Everybody please watch it. So I can yes! Yes! Um, I love it. Yeah, so, I mean, we're so close. We talk every day. I'm going to see them in New York next week. I love it. Tell them yeah. we say hello, especially one of them. I will. <laughs> I will, absolutely. He's single. And remember the rules. Actually, we don't Alby tell anyone when we said anything. Yeah. <laughs> what? We don't tell anyone when we said anything. Oh, no tagging. No tagging allowed. No tagging, allowed. tagging nothing. No judgment. It stays between us. They're, we can't tag. No. I'm no. so nervous that somebody's going to find out that I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. You mean your best friends finding out This is a safe what space, done? right? This is a safe oh, space. Greg, yes. this is such a safe space, in fact, that we have a little treat. Yes. Do you? Yeah. Well, do we want to talk New Jersey? Oh, of course. Yes, Sorry. real quick. Yeah, yeah before we, we, break before we yeah. dive into our treat, Sorry. we just, a few things about New Jersey this week, which I got to say, without Caroline lately. It Truly. Is, been a real snooze. You're doing so good. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I didn't like the last season. Uh huh. I think it should be buried at the bottom of the sea. Um, what, what's going on with Dina and, and Caroline? Caroline? Um, they're good. They're good now. They're good now. I think. Right. Like they made. She was at the wedding. Who? Oh, G- Dina's G wagon got stolen in the Hamptons once. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I was like what? That was a very long time. It's a ago. deep cut. Um, so <laughs> you're interpreting our yeah. You're like Dina's G wagon got stolen win. in the right. Hamptons. Jesus, God. God, don't you know that? Are Dina and Caroline okay? Yeah, they're good. Dina was at Lauren's wedding last summer. Oh, that's nice. She lives out here, actually. Dina? Dina lives out here with her boyfriend. Is she here right now? What part? Beverly Hills. Ooh. Yeah. Someone has landed a man. Yeah, she sure has. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so the, this new Oh, someone wants now. to say something. Oh, hi. Yes. Oh. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, hi Danny. Danny. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so rumor has it you were at the Posh Fashion Show with Teresa. Oh, I was at the Posh Fashion Show with Teresa. Yes, yes! Boots on the ground. On the ground. I was. Yes. Boots! Um, so could you talk a little bit about the fashion show and what happened, and, and maybe a little bit about Danielle. We all like Danielle Staub, right? So, Danielle Staub! Guys, right. I can not talk about that. I've been waiting my whole life to talk about that. Yeah, please, <laughs> tell us everything. None of my friends listen to me anymore. Um, <laughs> So the night of the Posh Fashion Show was season two. Okay. Uh So Teresa had called me and asked me to go with her because they wouldn't let her bring Joe. And she said, no husband. She called me and asked me. I'll never forget it. I was like in my bed and I didn't even live in Hoboken yet. I lived in Manhattan. And so I like went. (laughs) (laughs) Gross. What? Um, (laughs) So gross. Manhattan's so gross, guys. Don't ever move there. Um, Do they let you back in? <laughs> they kicked me out of Manhattan and made me move and to And they were Hoboken. like, okay. It was like a short stint. Um, but Teresa called and asked me to go, so I was like her date. And I essentially sat next to her in a, it kind of looked like this. It was a red. That like, tracks. Fire engine red um, shirt Horrible. that only buttoned down to here, so I had to put it over my head. I looked like a figure skater. I looked like, <laughs> I did. I looked like Brian Boitano or something. And... It was unbuttoned down to here. If you watch it, you'll see it's like, it was bad. Um, And she and Jacqueline got ready at their house and we went. And I remember she had a makeup artist who was like so pissed that he didn't get to sit next to her. Oh. I did it. I stuck the knife in. Um, And then Danielle was across from us. Like they had seen, (laughs) I'm like. You're going back there. I'm getting, I'm just trying to like set the scene for you guys. And she was on the phone doing the co-core thing. Remember, she's like, co-core. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. never forget. That. And um, then she, <laughs> never forget. <laughs> she went to the bathroom, and that's when Teresa like, was sitting in that chair out in the hallway. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I my remember. God, guys. So dark. That um, burned in my brain. She, she, um, she <laughs> they, com- they started fighting, and I remember I was like peeking, and you can see me in the background in my red shirt. <laughs> Because uh, up until this time, it was, like the only, it was the only episode of television I'd ever been on, so I have like screenshots of the whole thing. Like, <laughs> um, and then the fight like broke out, and I just remember it being chaos. People were getting like trampled and thrown. There were there were carts with like plates. <laughs> the way you're on telling them. this is like it was a national disaster. Guys, it really was. <laughs> I picture it kind of in I'm lame so days when the out. cart rolls over like. <laughs> And Jean Valjean is like, pick up the Right, so anyway, it was crazy, and like, they get outside, and I remember, that was when Ashley pulled her hair. Oh, guys. So Ashley pulled her hair, and then Jacqueline was like, you gotta get out of here, like, you gotta go. They called the cops, and I remember Ashley going, where's Greg, where's Greg Bennett? I need a hug, and I was like, I don't wanna hug you on TV. You just pull that woman's hair, like, I don't, like, I, you know, I was like, my mom's gonna see this. Like, I can't be associated with this. I was like, hiding off to the side, like smoking a cigarette. And um, I did. I like walked her to the car, and I was like, get home safe. And then that was like, that was it. Wow. Was, that's the only time I've ever been in the same room with Danielle Staub. Wow. I know. Well, speaking of Danielle, we have a real treat tonight. Do you? No, not Danielle. Sorry. Well, sort oh of. But we it, almost, guys. We're going to do a reading. Not us. Not us. Not us. We have two very good friends and important actors that we are calling out to read a famous scene that you might remember from that season. Oh, my God. I didn't know this was We're going to really take it back, and we're actually going to delve into a very important scene between Caroline and Danielle Staub. Okay. And to play these weighty roles... We have two of my favorite actresses playing... Danielle tonight will be from the show, the creator, co-creator, and co-star of the show Playing House, Miss Jessica St. Clair. When Caroline Manso, she has called this the role of her career. <laughs> From 
the creator and writer and star of the movie The Bronze and from Big Bang Theory. Please welcome Melissa Rausch. Excuse me. I will okay. be reading stage direction. <laughs> yeah, we both from Jersey. Jersey all the way. This scene, and just so you know, not one word has been changed or altered. This is the exact scene. The scene is called Attack of the Clown. Danielle and Caroline sit across from each other at a Jersey restaurant. We join them in the middle of their conversation. Amazingly, I don't need you to validate my life, much like I haven't given you or your family permission to attack me or assault me. Give me one example. <laughs> Give me one example of how I attacked I you. haven't done anything to my deserve. Children, my children, my family, me. What have I done to attack you? One example right now. Really? Really, really. Well, I'm gonna ask you the same question. What have I ever done to you? Me? You! Jacqueline is me. Dina is me. Lexi's me. Ashley's me, okay? Oh, whatever, Caroline. Okay? Whatever, Caroline. Okay? Not anybody in your family, you. When I stand, I don't stand alone. I stand with my family. And I, and I stand with mine. Yeah, and God bless your daughters. <laughs> you have two beautiful children, and no one has ever gone to attack your children, but you continue to attack us. That's not true. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? You can stand there, and you can sit there, and say all that. But I know what I've seen with my own eyes. What happens when people interfere with relationships? I think you should look in the mirror. Oh, I look in the mirror, frankly, a lot these days. And maybe. <laughs> and maybe blame yourself. It's about time at 47 years old you've taken some responsibility. Okay. <laughs> you don't know me. This is the first time that we've sat down and talked. Yeah, that's right. The first time you met me, you had me investigated, for I, God's I, sake. I never had you investigated. Oh, how's that going for all your friends that are under indictments right now? <laughs> Simply this. <laughs> Okay? <laughs> you are not fooling me, okay? And you're not fooling too many other people too. Who are you to sit in judgment of me? Okay, okay, when I look at you. You're not God. I am not God. I am far from it. Know what you are. Know what you are. You're a clown. I'm a clown. You're a clown, okay? Really? Yeah, yeah, your whole life's a joke. You're saying this sitting there with red hair? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm the clown, really? Yeah, yeah. And no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, no matter who you talk to, okay, you will not hurt me. Do you want to know why? This is not the reason I'm here. I have integrity, okay? And when I sit here, I tell you the truth, okay? And when I called you garbage, I meant that you were garbage. That's enough. Okay, okay, have a nice life. Yeah, I have an incredible life. Yeah. Remember, you're walking away from me, okay? Have a nice life. No, you know what, Caroline? You don't call someone garbage once or twice. <laughs> Take care. I always do. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye. Danielle walks out. On the street, she talks to her driver. Ready to go. Yep, call me garbage once, call me garbage twice. I think that's about enough. Wow, 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 yes. What a performance. When is the bronze out on DVD? Um, the bronze is out on Tuesday on DVD and VOD. It's yes. the funniest movie. The bronze is truly one of the funniest movies I have ever seen. It is so good. You must, you must see it. Next level. And then tell us Playing House. Playing House, you can catch seasons one and two on Amazon, and it'll be in the spring. Yeah, season three. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Jessica St. Clair. Wow, wow, wow. Two wow. sexy actresses. Yes. Greg. No, Greg. Guys. <laughs> what did that, that bring put up? put me through it. Let me tell you. I'm like sweating profusely <laughs> having watched that. Um, what did that bring up for you? It brought up a lot. A lot of memories. Um, that was like the only scene they filmed together all season, I think. Um, Powerful. Dark. Just, it was, that was next level. I remember... That episode just aired, and I had the same reaction to, and when I called you garbage, I meant that you were garbage, and I was like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm shaken to my core right now. I really am. It was, that was good. That was, You're such a good sport. It's, it's that was interesting. So good. It's like if you go to a Broadway show and you see different actors play a role. You know, yeah. I've seen many yes. people play you know, the lead role in Gypsy. Yes. And it was nice seeing different actors perform these amazing roles. Yeah, it was an, those, it's an iconic role, both, both it iconic is. roles. It is. Both iconic roles. It's like Medea. <laughs> it is, it's like a, a it's like a mammoth play. <laughs> I would say this is some of the best writing out there. <laughs> and I'm oh, a writer for Oh, and the best parts for, for women, for sure. Yes. Like, I would like to see Meryl and Kate Blanchett get their hands on these roles. On this material. You don't find it from a writer. I've got a laundry list of actresses I would love to see play Real Housewives. Like, yeah. so many. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to share? I think about that a lot. Um, well, so I always think of the Desperate Housewives as Real Housewives, because that's, like, yeah. where the show spun off from. Yeah. So I recently Didn't rewatched. Know that. Yeah. I Fun said fact, yeah, guys, but I did boots not on the know ground. that. Um, so when I watch that now, I, I, I rewatched it actually recently. I watch it like probably once a year because I'm <laughs> sad. Um, it's a gift to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always watch it from like that lens of like a reality yeah. show, and it's actually really interesting to watch. Wow. That's a sad thing. I should no, have told you. No, it's not. Greg, there is nothing about Mortified. you that is sad. This is sad. a safe space. This, this is, is your... No, I... Greg, you're a delight, and you're a genuinely kind, nice person. Thank you yes. so much. You Thank are. You. And we I, also... We're so appreciative of you coming that we got you a little tote bag. Oh, my God. A bitch that's tote bag. We want a tote bag to succeed. Oh. And, of course, a bottle with Green Angel. You're such a sweetheart. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. doing it, this. It says Thank bitch you. sesh on the other yeah. side. I'm gonna buy my a little something. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for doing so this. You're the best. Greg Bennett! Greg! Wow. 
Wow, guys. Craig wow, Hanna. guys. Look, you know, we're in the we're in it now. Yeah. And we much want, like all, you know, longer shows, we wanted to come to you guys for some boots on the ground. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, who has some stories? <laughs> who is that? Taylor does. So, we want to introduce April. jumpsuit that looks very cute on her and April is my dear assistant also hilarious actress writer comedian and a mill and a mill to beat the band as grandma would say April's gonna come on the audience there's a mic there if you just got you know and keep them quick you know this is a show <laughs> remember that we're entertaining and if you've got any tidbits gossip questions anything you want to share Hi. Hi, I just brought some Whispering Angel Jello shots. Whispering Angel Jello shots. What? Whispering Angel Jello shots, what's your name, you little angel? Marta. 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 Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna take one and then you pass them out. She says you gotta kinda get your finger in there. Wow, oh my wow. God, you thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Marta. Anybody else have any gifts? Because right now, Marta's getting that bow. Oh yeah, I'm getting in, I just gotta get a finger in. <laughs> Ooh, don't get it on the jumpsuit, Casey. That is a $500 mistake. So, anybody have any questions, thoughts, Anyone? gossip? Hold on, we have here. Oh, we have one right here. here. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Connor. Hi, Connor. Hi. Hi. Uh, going back to Orange County, you talked oh. about the very sad limo scene where she, <laughs> where Vicky's calling Brooks, and I just want to know where you ranked that in the pantheon of sad limo scenes. Oh. Um, <laughs> Great question. Just, there's just so many. Um, oh, that's a toughie. I mean, the saddest limo scene of all si well, times. Well, there's three I can think of off the bat involving Kim Richards. <laughs> yes, our three. Kim and Kyle and the revelation of alcoholism was number one. I don't know, though, because then remember when Kim was with that boyfriend. Yeah. What was happening? Was she, she had a dirty bra or well, her bra was on backwards and they were headed to um, Villa Blanca? Possibly. Something was going on in there. They were dirty. They were sweating. I'm just remembering the Oh, the <laughs> trash can in the bathroom, right? In the, yes, there was a trash can in the back of the limo, like above them? Oh, God. <laughs> and then, of course, the scene with Lisa Rinna. Oh. I still, so when I hard. think of that scene with Lisa Rinna, I get chills. Like, if I ever need to like get to some place as an actress, which I am not asked to, but, <laughs> but when, if, if I am called upon for a serious role. You'll be ready. I'll be ready. With that in mind, thank you. Good Great question. question. Got, one, got one right yes. here. Oh, wait, sorry, right April's here. got one and then we'll get to you, yeah? Hi, first of all, Kim's choker, the pearl choker inside uh, the limo is amazing. Yeah. But I was on Kelly Dodd's Instagram and she posted one of those like quotes, like those passive aggressive quotes. And then she was commenting in the comments about a stalker. So then I Googled Kelly Dodd stalker. And, <laughs> and if great you look, work, great work. Radar Online, the most important <laughs> website ever. She's had three separate um, restraining orders against her. Against her? Including one from her re-husband within the past 12 months. So look into How it, do but you there's been like a stalker named Heidi, who I think is the now girlfriend of her boyfriend in between the yes. husband. But now is she, that Shannon's neighbor? I'm not sure. <laughs> My husband made me stop Googling. Thank you for your important I, I work. You so <laughs> Thank you for serving. Thank you. Your service is appreciated. Thank you for your service. Uh, we have this gentleman right here. Yes. Hello. Hi. Your name? I, my name's Adam. I work for a U.S. congressional con uh, candidate working this week to get uh, endorsements. And I watched Orange County this week and yes. I decided Shannon Bedore is the endorsement I would like for my candidate. <laughs> she was. 
brilliant. Now, as week. candidate for a uh, U.S. Congress, Con- she, U.S. Congress, she is a uh, Latino, Latino woman. Okay. Running California. Okay. That's right up Shannon's alley. And I feel she needs the backing of Shan- the brilliant Shannon Bedore. Uh, okay. You know, not not a political figure, not Hillary Clinton. Okay. She needs Shannon Bedore's backing. Okay. okay. To get her into office. We we'll call for it, Adam. I powerful. like you. I call for it. I like you. Go on back yes, here. Thank you. I like where your head's at. Go it's on. not where everyone's head would be at, and I like it. April, you've got another thank person. Thank you. Hi. Um, I have a trivia question. Sure. What's that, your name? My name's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. And um, I've been thinking about like I didn't. I forgot that nothing can top last year's Luann. Be cool. That whole thing was still. Yeah. I, I dressed up her for Halloween. It was like a whole thing that was still the, the greatest moment ever. But I was. Rem- I remembered that. Um, and this is a trivia question. I don't, just to test if people remember this. This is going back old school. I'm not going to say the the city. You guys. I want to see if anyone else knows. But. One of the most ridiculous things that was ever said in one of the first seasons ever of Housewives was the following. One of the Housewives was, there were renovations going on and there were workers in the home and they were, you know, Hispanic. And she said to them, she literally said this, no scratchy the woody. (gasps) Does anyone remember who said this? She actually said that out loud. No. It feels Vicky. Vicky. Yes. It feels Vicky. I just Vicky had to make Gumbleton. Sure that someone else knew that she actually said that out loud to people. It was insane. So wow, that, that slipped my mind, Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. That's a good one. Thank good you. One. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name. I love Joe. all these men. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, my question is. Uh, <laughs> laughing. It's like the Democratic National Convention is on and we're all like, wait, I'm with her. These are hers. No, no. Uh, Go ahead. All right. Speak what your is, piece. What is your opinion of Mama Elsa and why didn't she get off her from own Miami. spinoff show? Mama Elsa what from Miami. What a pleasure it is to see you, Marisol. Great question. What was the question? <laughs> I think it was, what was our opinion What's on... Your, yeah. I'm obsessed with Mama Elsa. That's her name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama Elsa, I love her. I, she's a gorgeous monster. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but I, she was the only person I connected with on Miami. Same. Personally. Like, I could have done without all that, like, this one's vagina smells and that one's, like, I don't want anything to do with Miami. I would say that Miami was my New Jersey. Like, I couldn't get in. Like, I just couldn't... I wasn't sad to see it go. I felt like I was paying my dues when I was watching it. It kind of felt like it wasn't of the Real Housewives, like someone sort of threw it on last minute. So she was the most interesting character. Tidbit, she can't sell her house in Coral Gables, though. Not surprising. (laughs) Well, way to leave on a low note. (laughs) Okay, we'll just blow through these next questions. Ape, you have one? I got one. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, So a little news for you guys. I know Danielle has some strong feelings. I went on a date with someone who works on Eileen's soap opera. First of all, had nothing but the most wonderful things to say about her. I know. She's fantastic. She's boring. (laughs) And two, she's been filming scenes for the new season for the last two weeks. No. So Eileen is back next year. news a real well thank you for that news we'll that see what makes it on from the editing room yeah. floor hi hi i love hi. you both how are you great how are you great okay uh, i want to talk about the center of my bravo universe which yeah. is vanderpump rules <laughs> i know <laughs> I know you don't love it. Go ahead, I, I go have ahead. a little, uh, some news. I went to a Kristen Doty stand-up show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is surprisingly not talented at that. <laughs> but uh, the whole cast was there. They're filming. Um, Jax laughed at every cocaine joke that was made, <laughs> uproariously. 
Stassi's broken up with that boyfriend. Sheena yes. made a Raya joke about her. Wow. Um, trying to think. Uh, Where was this? It was at the improv. Wow. Yeah. I like haven't been able to get, to get on night. stage at the improv. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Uh, and I just wondered, also, uh, Craig was on Stassi's podcast, and they're told and encouraged to be more like Vanderpump Rules on that s- on Southern Charm. The producers tell them you need Disagree. to turn it up. To turn it up? Yes. They couldn't turn I'm it sorry. down. <laughs> they're on fire. That's all I have. Thank you. They, that's good to know. And if you are listening, Southern Charms, you keep doing you. Yeah. Hi. Hello. My name is Angela, longtime listener, first time. Hi, Angela. <laughs> first time Very live show speaker. <laughs> first time show speaker. No, but this is actually on the subject of Southern Charm. We're all blessed to be in your presence. But we're wondering if you could bless us with a Southern Charm theme song. <laughs> Guys, the show's not over. <laughs> Angela, just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> April's got one. I, Hi, and we'll just take this one and then you three, and then we gotta move on. Yeah. I just really wanted to know the truth about how you feel about the third love t shirt bra. <laughs> <laughs> friend just like figured out how to get the podcast on her phone and she texts me and, and I can only do it in her like southern voice she's like Casey should I get this third one <laughs> she goes y'all talk about it with such conviction <laughs> and I'm like you know we're funneling our our I like the bra yes I do I wear it every week I do too <laughs> and but I have not sense. washed it much <laughs> I genuinely like it. I think I was also moved they sent us a free one. Yeah. I, yeah, no, I am enjoying my That is God's love. honest. I really do like yeah, it. Yeah, we really like it. And we can stand by it. And if you send us something and we try it and like it, people like it. Hint, hint, advertisers. <laughs> but actually, I, I've gotten that. <laughs> that just made me laugh. So. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying Hi. mine. So my name is Meredith, and like I think everybody here, I watch The Housewives, but I never thought that Housewives drama would come into my own personal life. Uh Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. But in walks Aviva Drescher. So I'm a hairstylist, and I own a salon down the street, and about a year ago, I get a phone call from a mutual, uh, from a friend of mine who also knows Aviva, who's a wardrobe stylist in New York. And she says, Aviva is gonna be coming to LA. She's gonna be filming marriage boot camp and she's trying to find somebody to do glam for her. (laughs) So would it be okay if I put you two in in contact? And I was like, well, that's fine, sure. So Aviva calls, Aviva emails me, I think, or texts me. Basically, she wants a trade for tweet a job where she wants me to come to her. She wants me to go to the Calabasas house 14 days in a row at 6 a.m. to do her hair, just so she can tweet about me. I mean, like I said, I own my own salon down the street. I don't need Aviva's tweet. So, (laughs) So I was not exactly sure how to respond, so I forwarded the messages to my girlfriend who's an agent in town. And I said, how do I respond to her? And she wrote, fuck her, say this. <laughs> but y'all, I copied and pasted the email and so I sent to Aviva, it said, fuck her, say this. <laughs> so literally from Aviva, it's like, fuck me, fuck you, fuck you for, I mean, it was crazy. She literally harassed me till, pro- I mean, she called my cell phone probably 85 times over the course of What? Time. Are you being serious? I'm, I'm telling you, honest, I know I have an entire email folder called Aviva Emails. She called my phone until 5 a.m. the morning that they were first post- starting to shoot, telling me that now, since I had said fuck her, that I owed her 
the hair and glam for the, anyway, it was crazy. I just, I like blocked her number and just disconnected, but I was like, I'm just a watcher. How did I just all of a sudden end up on some crazy Aviva? Well, I'll tell you what, you've won a bottle of whisper. <laughs> Wow. Wow. But you do have to tweet about us. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Taylor, and I first wanted to commiserate with you because I was listening to the podcast on my way here with my friend Bridget, and I completely peed my pants laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to stop at the Target on Beverly and get a skirt. <laughs> That's how much I peed my pants. It's the Target... <laughs> Thank you. Second, second, third, and fourth, I have some boots on the ground stories. Right. Number one, Bass Lake is boring as fuck. <laughs> they have an amazing cheeseburger at the Forks, but other than that, it's stupid. Don't go. <laughs> Two, I can say with 70% certainty from someone Not a lot. who worked for Girardi and Keese that Tom will be in jail <laughs> at some what? point. That Tom Girardi. Erica Jane's husband. Seventy percent. I'm seventy based on the information I've gathered. And so he's got a thirty percent chance of getting clean. <laughs> of getting free. My last bit of information is that I have seen Heather publicly berate and verbally abuse Terry Dubrow. <laughs> intimidating at all. <laughs> Honestly, my gossip is nothing in comparison to those. I love it. I was very tempted to sit down. <laughs> no, you're here speak all freely. Are speak freely. All right. Uh, have a source at the gym that <laughs> <laughs> These could not be more tentative sources and I believe every word everyone's saying. <laughs> that uh, Ken, Lisa's Ken works out at and uh, Ken Todd. <laughs> yeah. Ken he works out? <laughs> That's how he survives a fall on a Baja shell. <laughs> this source uh, doesn't watch Real Housewives, was at my house while I was watching Beverly Hills, sees Ken and goes, That's the guy that always steals the towels at the gym. <laughs> Nothing in comparison to those last two stories, but I, I love this, and it. I feel like sometimes, yeah. <laughs> this is the bow Danielle wore to our a whimsy party. That. Thank you so much. You look so much better in it. <laughs> I'm you kidding. Do. You looked great in it. You thank you don't feel that. No, I don't. <laughs> you guys, thank you. That was amazing. We have two more little segments. Mm -hmm. it, we have come to kind of we don't want to take it down, but kind of a we more do. serious. Now, like every award show, you have to remember those who have passed. <laughs> so we're gonna look back at those. We're from no the longer with us. Show we're no longer with us. Gone but not forgotten. <laughs> Scroll a little. It's gonna be a second again, because the tech okay. is not great. <laughs> so janky! It must have been cold there in the shadow. Here we go. Michelle Salahi. 
Was she a White House gate crasher? Yes. Was she an NFL cheerleader? We'll Who never knows? know. Yeah, this one's a sad Pickles. one. Pickles! I really genuinely miss Pickles. What happened to her? We know what happened to her. Yeah. You Jim Bellino, husband of Alexis, trampoline park mogul. Sarah. Now, remember when Michael Lohan showed up in Atlanta on the street? In the background of a scene, we hardly knew you. Siggy Flicker's old face. We never knew ye, Siggy Flicker's old face. Ridiculous. The stripper from Atlanta who could suck his own dick. Jack's former assistant and enabler. King. King. Kingsley, I hope you are dead. Pat Sonia's brother-in-law's butler. What more is there to say? Jules is And finally, Dorinda's daughter. She fought bravely till the very end. She likes a very bold lip. Now that, wow. that presentation was put together by Bitch Zesh favorite, Deanna Chang. Thank you, Deanna. Amazing. Amazing. Wow, Danielle. Wow, guys. I'm, I mean, we've lived, we've laughed, we've, we've loved, loved, we've learned. We've, I, how are you feeling? I'm spent. <laughs> and I've also probably got a yeast infection from this jumpsuit. <laughs> Just being honest, guys. Guys, 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 you all are just cracking Amazing. me up. I truly, I want to truly say from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for coming out. This was such a fun night for Amazing. us. Amazing, yes. We also want to thank so many people. Tonight we want to thank Greg Bennett. Just we want to thank Claire just, and Melissa Rausch. Yes, we want to thank... Deanna Chang. Flanny and the whole crew here at Largo, yeah. Michael and everybody. Paul Shear, who is producing our show. Yes. Our Mill, April. April Mouton, get out of here, April. Aw, April's so cute. <laughs> and you guys are faithful. July Diaz, who is helping yes. engineer our show tonight. Loose, everyone at Earwolf, and our Facebook group, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hey everyone, this is Scott Aukerman of Comedy Bang Bang. I want to tell you that Now Hear This is a brand new podcast festival that's happening this fall. Get ready for a weekend of live performances and opportunities to meet your favorite podcasters. Now Hear This will feature podcasting titans like me, Scott Aukerman, doing Comedy Bang Bang Live in addition to How Did This Get Made, WTF with Mark Marin, with special guest Lauren Lapkus, Brilliant Idiots, and more being announced all the time, including plenty more Earwolf and non-Earwolf favorites. Lock the gate! <laughs> it's all happening in Anaheim, California, October 28th through the 30th. You'll get Halloween off. Don't worry. Buy your tickets now and get all the details at nowhearthisfest.com. Earwolf. 
This has been an Earwolf production, executive produced by Scott Ackerman and Chris Bannon. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.com.